We are first asked to find the conditional formation constant before we find the concentration of the free chrome 3. So to find the conditional formation constant, K prime F, we need the alpha value at the pH that we're looking at, as well as the Kf value for the metal of interest. Well, the metal of interest is chromium-3, and we have the log Kf here. The log Kf is 23.4. That means that the Kf is 10 raised to the 23.4. The alpha value, we get the alpha value from a table. We're at a pH of 9, so my alpha value is 0 0.041. So I put that here. Put that into my calculator in order to find the conditional formation. And the value that I get is 1.02, and then it continues 987 times 10 to the 22nd. So I would actually end up reporting 1.03 times 10 to the 22nd is my conditional formation constant. Now I need that in order to find the concentration of the free chromium at a pH, and then I have a starting uh, concentration of my complex as well. Remember that these Kf values are formed, they're formation constants. So we need ion plus EDTA in equilibrium with metal complex. So initially, the chromium concentration is a zero. We don't know. The EDTA, we also don't know, but we do know that the complex is at a 0 0.050 capital M molar. We also know that this is going to change. It's going to change by some value x. We don't know what that value x is. So in order to set up the Kf expression, we need to have at equilibrium 0 0.050, the concentration of our complex minus x, over the product of the concentration of the reactants at equilibrium. Now this is a case where we can simplify, and we can simplify because the K value is more than a thousand times different than our initial concentration. So now it's just algebra. I multiply both sides by X squared, and then divide both sides by 1.03, and actually that value is still in my calculator, so rather than round, I'm going to use the value in my calculator. And I get that x squared is 4.85, and it continues, but for brevity, I'm just going to leave it there, times 10 to the negative 24th. Now take the square root of this value and get that x equals 2.20 times 10 to the negative 12. Now what does x represent? Well, x represents the concentration of the chromium. So the concentration of the chromium is this value, 2.20 times 10 to the negative 12.